Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. I'm going to do a redo on one, but this video is going to be a quickie. I wanted to make uh, the Kavakish again, but not as long as that last video. I was watching it this morning, and I'm like, whoa. So, I and I'm going to change it up a little bit, and I'm going to, because that one I didn't add the lemon zest to the eggs and stuff, the batter. This time I'm going to, and I'm also going to heat up my pan. So, here we go. I have four eggs in my mixer. I'm going to get them going. I have one cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of milk. Um, once this starts going, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar for the sweetness. And so, I'm just going to get my eggs going. Four room temperature, okay? Okay, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar to this. That was a half cup, I just did a half. And my milk, I don't know why I have a problem with my milk, I'm always spilling it. Okay, let that go for a minute. And then I have one cup of vegetable oil. Add that right in. Probably should have turned that down a little bit. My family's getting ready to leave today and I wanted to make them a special dessert. Um, also, this is what I didn't do last time. I have the zest of one lemon, but I'm going to add Okay, that's going, and then I'm going to add my flour. I have one cup of flour behind you, of course. My oven is preheating at 425. I'm going to turn this down a little bit and just gradually add that in. And of course you want to get all the flour off the sides. Turn that off so I don't do my get this stuck in my blade. You want to make sure you get the bottom too. that back on, get it mixed really well, four or five minutes. While that's going, my oven's at 342 right now, I'm going to put my, my pan in and get it nice and heated. I'll put the oil in after. I forgot. I took that lemon, cut it in half. I got half a lemon, squeezed lemon, fresh lemon. I'm gonna add that in here also, just for that little pop. And I'm gonna add the other half into my frosting. So I'll be back. Alrighty, friends. This is coming out. Be very careful, because at 425 degrees. Okay, now I'm gonna spray them. Make a mess on top of my stove. And this is a popover pastry pan, by the way. I don't know what I was saying it was before. I don't think I did. All right, let's, we want to fill this. Whoa, about halfway without making a mess. Yeah, not in this house. Then these are gonna go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Just keep an eye on them. 
They look so cool in this. My last video, I did them in regular muffin tins. Didn't change the taste, but it definitely changes the looks when you use these pans. Um, you want something cool looking? Definitely invest in one of these pans. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm gonna make the sugar topping. I've got about a cup and a half of powdered sugar here. I squeezed the other half of that lemon and the zest. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put that in here because that is amazing. Um, you don't have to use lemon if you don't want, I decided to. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of milk because I have that lemon juice in there. And just see. Depends on how thick you want it. I'm probably have to use a little bit more. And you do, oh, and again, me and my miss. Yeah, I'll definitely. I'm just going to dump it. Got another tape, uh, teaspoon or so, just to see how it goes. And if you get it too thin, just add some more sugar. I didn't sift it this time. I didn't think it was going to matter. And that, that's nice. Still thick, but enough to just drizzle over. So I'm going to leave that there. We have eight minutes left on our kavakish, and I'll bring you back. <laughs> Look at these, my friends. It took 25 minutes in the other one. These were 20. Good thing I took them out. Don't those look awesome? I'm going to leave, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to take them right out of the pan, if I can handle them. And just so I can grab it with the other one later. Whoa. And I put them upside down on there. And you can see it. Oops. Oops. And there's the other piece. Guess I'll be eating that one. And spraying your pan because that's what that will do. And there you have it, my friends. Don't those look awesome? And you know what? I'm just gonna do the taste test where it's hot. I'm sure the lemon, the whole lemon thing, I'm gonna just eat this piece here. Look at this. The insides. Let me see. Isn't that awesome? And they cool off really fast, actually. So I'm going to drizzle some of this right on top. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Those are amazing. Let me just taste it without the sugar on it because I have lemon in this. Mm hmm Yes. You can taste the lemon. Put the lemon in it. It just gives it that extra burst. And you know, if you don't want to use lemon, you can use any flavoring. Um, of course, you won't have the zest, depending on what you're using. You're going to use peppermint and have a zest to it. Um, but even so, you put the peppermint in the ingredients before you cook them, and then just use a regular um, sugar with milk. There you have it, my friends. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. I'll, I'm back. I have a lot going on this week, but that's why I wanted to do this while nobody was here this morning and get you a video. So I will see you, you will see me again soon. Not sure what, but you'll see me. Thanks for being here, my friends. And thank you for all the beautiful comments you guys left. And I will try to get back over there and reply. But until then, you guys have a great week. Hope everybody was safe over the weekend, holiday weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now.